This brief out-of-the-box tutorial will take us through the steps to equip your DPI-10 handheld 3D scanning kit 2020 model or higher for use with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Android tablet. Instructions on this procedure are also included with your kit. The DPI-10 2020 comes by default ready to use with the Microsoft Surface Go tablet. However, if you're utilizing it with the Samsung Galaxy S6, it's only a couple very quick, simple steps to get your kit ready to go for use on Android. We'll go through those steps now. So first we're going to take out each component included in the kit, the conversion kit. There is foam, which can be placed either on your tablet or on your device to compensate for the thinner form factor of the S6 versus the Surface Go. Also included is a hex key for any adjustments to your cold shoe mount on top of the device and a screwdriver for screwing in the conversion kit. And this bar, which is the chief component that adjusts for the size difference between the two tablets. So first we're going to unscrew these screws using the screwdriver provided. And then we're going to go ahead and slide this right into our DPI-10 with the screws on the bottom. Once it's slid into place on the bottom, we can then screw it in underneath the handles. Once this bar has been screwed in, your DPI-10 is now compatible with the S6 tablet. However, if utilized as set up here, it would be very loose for the S6 tablet. So you typically want to add the foam pads that are included either onto the tablet itself or more typically onto your DPI-10 housing. So here you see how the S6 will slide in even without the foam but it is a bit loose. So unless you're still really testing between the S6 and the Surface Go, you're gonna to wanna to add the foam. If you do have some flexibility between the two tablets still and you don't wanna fully commit, you can add the foam onto your tablet instead of the device with the two longer strips as shown here. However, typically you'd rather add the foam onto your housing than onto the tablet. And in that case, you're going to do a long strip on the left and two short strips on the right with the beveled edge pointing up, which will help the tablet slide in very easily. So now we're going to add those to our device as shown here. They've been adhered on to the DPI-10. And you'll see that our S6 tablet will now slide in place very easily and very snugly with the foam that was attached to our device via adhesive. You want to always snap your lock into place on top to prevent the tablet from falling out and you'll notice that it's now very secure and your DPI-10 is now ready for use permanently as an S6 model.